What's up YouTube, Spicekist here. Today we start a new video series on this channel. One, quite frankly, being about four years in the making, as this was one of my original ideas for this YouTube channel. But as we all know, my Spicekistic adventures really took off. This video series is designed to really give that extra special recognition to those places that so deserve it. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this video series. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and want to see some more. What's up YouTube? As people may know, I was born and raised in Hawaii and every so often I just get that itch to get some food from home. And when I do, I go to the place right behind me. This is 808 Grinds. Aloha and how's it? My name is Jensen and this is my business partner Kevin Schofield. Uh, together we're the co-owners of 808 Grinds Hawaiian Cafe and Food Carts. Um, it's a little background about us. We started this in uh, 2010 as a food cart on Southwest 9th in Washington in downtown Portland, Oregon. Um, the reason why we started it kind of uh, it was uh, kind of like an experiment, but also out of necessity because this guy here uh, ended up losing his job as a financial advisor. So it wasn't really you didn't really get fired. You kind of just uh, was forced to leave type of thing. It was like asked um, to resign. Asked to resign. Okay, that's 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 the one. And uh, when that happened, he called me. I was driving. I actually saw Oquan's Koi Fusion truck passing by, and I, I I said, Kevin, we're gonna start a food truck. Growing up together on Maui, we always wanted to start a restaurant or get into business together, and this was just a great opportunity. At the time in Portland, it was the perfect time as food carts were rising. Um, we're getting in the industry at the perfect time where costs were low. We got the opportunity to uh, uh, get, get in with Nike. That allowed us to start our second truck. We uh, got into Intel and they asked us to, to build the trailer. So that, that became our third trailer. And, um, you know, with the need of a commercial kitchen, we found uh, this location here on uh, Southwest Parkway, uh, the top of Cedar Hills, and uh, it was an old Muchas Gracias. Basically, after probably, uh, after a, a nice strong summer, we ended up deciding to uh, put some tables and chairs in here and um, and open up it as a cafe as our first brick and mortar. So just everything kind of fell into place naturally, organically, and um, kind of brings us to where we're at today. You know, and for us, you know, we, we cooked as a family, and eating as a family, every morning we had breakfast, um, and every evening we sat down for dinner. So, uh, these, a lot of these recipes that we, we got came from our families, and um, uh, you know, and stuff that dad cooked for us, and grandma cooked for us, and you know, we, we kind of had a, grew an appreciation uh, for food at an early age. You know, I'm just thankful that the general public enjoys eating our food as well. Thanks, Dad. Hi, I'm Jonathan, the executive chef at 808 Grinds Cafe. Today we're going to make loco moco patties, and then we're going to make a loco moco. Mm -hmm. Started off, five pounds of ground beef. I prefer 80-20 ground beef. Half an onion, small diced. Two and a half cups of panko. I always use real panko breadcrumbs. Four tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons of garlic powder two tablespoons of black pepper, two tablespoons of salt. And I usually like to put the meat underneath and use that as a base and then put all your ingredients on top. If you put your ingredients on the bottom, they tend to get too wet. And then three eggs. You want to thoroughly combine until everything is mixed in. And then you want to make these into individual balls by hand, uh, three and a half to four ounces if you really want to make them nice. All right, we made our burger patties earlier, and now we're going to take our patties, which have had a time to set. This is a different batch. But you want to let them set up for at least an hour. Put two of them on the grill. Then we want to press them flat using our press. It takes about three, four minutes to cook the patties to at least medium. Then we'll start our burner and get our egg going. You always traditionally have a sunny side egg up on a loco moco, but you can have your eggs any way you want. This pan's already pretty pre-warmed. One egg sunny side up. It's always a real solid point for us to make sure the egg is runny when the plate goes out. When they take the plate out to the table, that egg should still be jiggling. 
We'll set up the plate while that's cooking. A little bit of our 808 grinds. Signature, we call it maybe country style, mac, mac salad. Always use Best Foods mayo. It's got a little bit of peas, carrots, onion, a little salt and pepper in it. When we set up our plates, we have uh, six times at least washed sticky rice. And with a loco moco, you always get a scoop and then a base of rice as well to soak up all that good gravy and beef. And then we add, we make fresh gravy every day, real beef gravy. We use butter and flour, make a roux, and then add beef base, salt and pepper, Worcestershire. That would be a nice challenge, just drink a whole bunch of uh, beef gravy. And then one of the things we do while plating is um, we put gravy on top of the burger patties. A lot of people will just cover the whole dish in gravy. I usually prefer to take a little bit of gravy and put it underneath. That sets on a plate right there. And then your egg should slide right off and set it right in the middle with another scoop of gravy. Holy cow. My friend Ian would say that's bomb sexy. A little bit of green onion garnish. Okay. And that's it. Fade away grinds loco moco. I think it's steaming up my lens too. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right, guys. 808 grinds, local moco. This is absolutely fantastic. We already cracked the yolk because we couldn't wait. So look at that. It's just dripping down over here. That is proper. That's how you do it. It's already bustling back there. Loving it. That's why this place is popular as heck. All right. Because I'm just diving in like a really, you know, beast of a panda because I have no manners. Here we go. That patty is just amazing. Full of flavor, still juicy. That gravy reminds me of home right there. That is why this loco moco is so damn good. Now let's try the mac salad because whenever I go to a Hawaiian place, I gotta judge it by its mac salad. Here it is. Phenomenal, phenomenal. The macaroni is just you know, right around El Dente. Loving that. Still got that little bite to it. Not as much mayo, not too much mayo, not too little mayo, it's just right. But the flavor is just completely spot on, getting a lot of the peas and the carrots in there. You know, I think we need some spicy, something spicy here, just to jazz it up just a little bit because I'm a spicy kiss man. Let's do this! So I got 808 grinds, habanero teriyaki sauce. Hey Jensen, how do you make this habanero teriyaki sauce anyway? Well, we take about four pounds of habaneros, cook them down so they're nice and soft, and then add as you would do a normal teriyaki sauce. Uh, all right. I gotta try this with teriyaki sauce because I have to. I don't know if that's the proper ratio, but certainly for spice, because it is. <laughs> that is money. Go to 808 Brand right now, check them out.